Hi, since our last meeting, I've hoped you take some time to stop by the Commercial Realtors Article Exchange LinkedIn group. Uh, people have already been posting high quality commercial real estate articles that they're willing to share with you. So, about that, you know, if you want to join the group or you need help, one of the best places to find information on that is my website. Now, if you were to go to Social Media 101 Artisan Digital, and click on CCIM 2012 you'll see where I've been keeping track and notes basically on all of our meetings now under the notes for the last meeting you'll find three articles and first of all is this great article that introduces the group talks about the benefits and the rules and it also points out that beside the, the website, if you need some help getting started, I'm available. Give me a call. I can give you a free 15-minute session, and we can have an article posted, and you joined up with the group in no time. So that's one of the articles that's available from last meeting. And then another article that is very useful is this Rick's tip. Rick, last meeting, showed you how to use the LinkedIn sharing bookmarklet to speed share onto the group. And what you'll find in this article is a step-by-step -step slideshow that tells you how to use that, plus a couple bonus tips that talk about editing and deleting posts. And let's see, and then the final one we talked about that week was Rick brought up again, and this is going back to a WordPress blog, about how to make articles easier with Press This, which is another bookmarklet. And again, step-by-step -step instructions are included on this. This meeting, I'm adding a new article to the site. And this new article specifically is about reposting. Now, on our LinkedIn group, by joining the group, one of the rules is saying that you agree to have your articles reposted. And that means that it would be okay for someone to take your article in entirety as long as they give you complete credit and a link back. Now, Rick has done a really nice job of that at his uh, website with one of Robert Poe's articles. And he's written a lovely introduction paragraph of accrediting Robert and saying what a great article it is, and then a link to Robert's website. And if you only have time to do that, that's great. Now, if you want maximum SEO benefit, you should visit the guide to reposting an article on your blog. Now, this I've had some fun with because I've made an infographic that talks about best reposting practices. And they're really simple. The first thing you need to do is to write your own compelling headline. Then you write a short introduction paragraph. And if you want, you can include a short direct quote in this paragraph, or for that matter, anywhere in the article. Be sure to acknowledge the author or the source. The next thing to do is to write a paragraph to present an excerpt of the article. Now, two major concerns in reposting are keeping the author and Google happy. By using excerpts, you can do both. So best excerpt practices are to try to keep the excerpt to two paragraphs of the article. If you use more than that, then you're kind of running into you're going to need author permission or to use the article. Use this block quote feature of your text editor to set it apart from the rest of the text. Now, ultra important is to include a link to the article's source and author. This is a must do in reposting. If you don't do this, then you are not giving credit where credit is due. And so here I've added that and shown it was me and added a link to my article. The final thing to do is to write a closing paragraph. And if you just follow these few guidelines, you're going to get a great article. And you're going to give the author some great exposure. So everybody wins. Next up is Craig. And he's going to show you how to post to the group on LinkedIn. Happy posting and article sharing. I'll see you next month. Bye.